Hey everyone, good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my channel is everything pregnancy related at the moment, uh, fitness, a lifestyle, um, motherhood, and, and a little bit of beauty and fashion. So if you like what you see, um, please do stick around. Um, so today's video I thought would be really, really fun. So today the sun is shining. Um, I'm off to Bath with a couple of friends. Um, one of them being somebody you probably all watch, um, the lovely Lucy Carter. And we are going um, to Primark, of course. Now, we are going to the Bath Primark. Um, the Bristol one is obviously a lot bigger. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get everything today. But this is a baby related video. So I am hoping to be able to get the entire content of my hospital bag, including the hospital bag. So I thought it'd be a really, really fun kind of challenge video to see what I can get in Primark for my hospital bag. Because let's face it, you only use these things kind of once. So what's the point buying like a really expensive hospital bag, um, you know, really expensive bits and bobs to go in there when actually like you don't need to. So if for anyone new, I am 25 weeks pregnant with my second um, son. So I'm having another little boy. I've, got a, I've already got a five year old boy called Oscar. And then I am 25 and a half weeks pregnant with my second child. So, I have just had a quick look um, on the Pampers website on what they recommend to pack in your hospital bag. So it's gonna give me a guide of what to buy because I actually can't remember, but I'm sure like Lucy's had two children, so hopefully we can help each other out. Okay, um, obviously hospital file birth plan. Not obviously, I'm not gonna get those. Right, dressing gown, a soft dressing gown. Now, I did actually buy a dressing, like a real lightweight kind of silk dressing gown for holiday, which I was thinking, cause it's gonna be kind of August, September when I have the baby, I'm thinking it's gonna be really hot. So I don't think I'm gonna need a big dressing gown or will I? I don't know, maybe I'll get one. I don't know, it depends how much it is. So dressing gown, socks, uh, many mums pop on some socks cause their feet get cold during labor. I didn't think about that. Um, slippers or flip flops. Absolutely. Um, now I do have a pair of Ugg slippers, which I, I will probably take, but again, because it's gonna be hot, I might get those like kind of slidery ones. And if Primark have got some cheap ones, we'll get those. Lip balm, absolutely. Um, I think they sell Carmex as well, which is my favorite. So lip balm, body lotion or massage oil. Some mums to be fine, a little massage during labor, relaxing. Okay. Water spray and the sponge. You may feel like you're getting a little hot. Okay, comfortable pillows. Your hospital will provide you with pillows, but they may, may not be the right kind for you. If you have a favorite pillow, then it can't hurt to take it along. Now, I will think I'll be all right with what they provide, but what we, me and my husband have said is that take one for him, like an inflatable pillow. So I wonder if they've got anything in the travel section because we were in there for like, well, I was in labor for 18 hours last time and poor Simon just couldn't get any sleep. And I know like some people will say, well, it's not about them, but they, they're there too. They might not be feeling the pain, but they're there supporting you. And like once I'd had an epidural, it was very slow and I was in a bed able to sleep and he was just really uncomfortable. So I'm thinking like a neck pillow or like an inflatable pillow or something like that. So it says relaxing pastime, so like, book, magazines, tablet, etc. Obviously I'm not gonna get that from Primark um, because I will probably just take my laptop and we can watch a movie if it's, if it's that relaxing. Um, eye mask and earplugs to help you get rest in a busy and bright maternity ward. That's a good one actually, never thought about that. So there we go. Um, so a night, nightie, I knew I had to get that. I had a gray one with Oscar. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get that. Heavy duty maternity pads now. They're not gonna sell them in Primark, are they? However, the underwear to wear, so you need like big knickers <laughs> um, to wear with those huge um, maternity pads. So I'll definitely be getting those. Bras, be prepared with a few nursing bras or other comfortable, well-fitting bras. Now, I'm kind of like a sports bra kind of girl. Like not, not sports like really structured, but just like soft because I've got big boobs anyway, and they're even bigger now, and I just find like underwired bras so uncomfortable to wear. So I like wearing soft bras. So I actually need to go and get some anyway. Toiletries, so towels, tissues, hairbrush, hairbrush, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, 
face wash, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, hair dryer, hair clips, hair ties, and then pack a plastic bag to pop dirty clothes in. And then also cosmetics and skincare products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some little like clear plastic cases, you know, like zip up ones to put all the bits in because I think that'll be useful to organise it all. Glasses and contact lenses, I don't need that. Phone and charger, I'm not going to get that from um, Primark because I do already have a charger and I also have like a battery pack just in case, but hospitals usually have plugs so you don't usually need that. So clothes, aside from your nightdress, you might choose to take some comfortable clothes to wear during your hospital stay in, during, during your stay in hospital. Pack an extra outfit to wear home and something loose fitting. Definitely, like I'm gonna definitely pick up some joggers today because I need some anyway. And like a t-shirt just because if I'm in there for ages, but then coming home, I need to think of a coming home outfit. I think I wore a smock dress last time. Mind you, something like what I've got on today. I've got like this, um, Oh, I'll show you in a minute. I've got a, a nice dress on today. Um, snacks and drinks, yes. Um, oh, and then it says hospital bag essentials for your birth partner. Snacks and water, phone, camera, clothes. So spare clothes for Simon. Small pillow, which I've already said. Okay, and then hospital bag for baby. Baby grows, obviously. Socks and booties, blanket nappies wipes muslin squares going home outfit and car seat again you can use your imagination as to what i what i'm going to be able to get in primark i think i might already have his going home outfit um but i'm you know i'm gonna do this right i'm gonna buy the stuff from primark so you guys can see how reasonable you can get your entire hospital bag for and that you don't have to spend a huge amount of money to get really nice stuff so I'm really hoping I can get everything I can get today if I can't I will go to Bristol at the weekend and I will top it up and then I'll just continue this video then but you guys will know because you'll be following me there anyway so I'll try and do a little bit of vlogging while I'm there um, but we'll see how we get on so I'll see you in a bit I don't normally do this but I'm just gonna show you my little outfit today um, seeing as I've got fully ready um, so I've got the, I don't know if any of you have seen on my Instagram, I've got this in pink, like a dusky pink. So I've got a white smock dress on, because I don't have any children with me today, um, which is from ASOS. And then I've also got this denim jacket on, which is from Primark last year, I think. Um, and then I've just got some white high tops on. So definitely feeling the summery vibes, although it's not that sunny out there now. But I'm hoping it um, gets sunnier throughout the day because I think we're due to have rain at the weekend. But yeah, look at my bum. I actually look huge in this. I think because it's not like tight. Anyway, there we go. It was something in the air. So I already did my intro the other day. This is the follow on for my Primark kind of challenge video. I'm really excited to show you this. I did say in my previous video that I was going to go to two Primark stores if I didn't get what I wanted in the first. Unfortunately, I hadn't had the time to go to the second one and I was too excited to do it for you uh, because it was really, really successful. Um, so I am just going to show you all of the bits that I got and how successful I was getting my entire hospital bag contents. So the first thing I'm going to say is I didn't actually get a hospital bag. The Primark I went to was in Bath and they don't have a huge selection. They had the little, um, they had some lovely um like suitcase you know like travel size suitcases and my friend that i went with lucy said to me get one of those i definitely get one of those i'd probably have two of those if i was going into hospital to have a baby um so i nearly did and then i thought no i've got quite a few of them at home so i didn't really want to get another one i actually want a soft hold all because i personally feel that you'll get more into a hold all 
than you will a structured hard shell suitcase. I could be wrong, but I think, you know, especially ones in you've got pockets on the outside, um, and I know they're not as easy to carry, but hubby will be carrying them anyway, won't he? So let's just get straight into it. The first thing I'm gonna show you is my favorite thing, and I, I've actually worn one of these already, which is really naughty. So one of the things on my list was an outfit to wear out of hospital, so once you've had the baby. And with Oscar, I wore a smock dress, which if I remember rightly, I ordered from ASOS. I don't think it was a maternity one, it was just a smock dress, because I figured that, you know, they're quite tight on the top, and then you've got, like, loose fitting, and obviously your belly doesn't go down straight away when you have a baby. So I wanted something loose fitting, and I think because it was March, I wore that with leggings. Now, it's going to be August, September hopefully September but it could be the end of August um, but I'm due the 1st of September and it's probably going to be warm so I was on the lookout for a smock dress and I found the best smock dress I honestly think I've seen this season so I'm going to show you the one I haven't worn so um, this is a rust colour and it's absolutely beautiful um, so I've got it's got like these little fluted sleeves on it um and it's really like stretchy material and i sized up in this i say i sized up i got a size 10 i'm kind of between an 8 and a 10 anyway um but yeah i got that um i also got it in black i'll show you a photo of me wearing it now because i've already worn it it is so flattering so comfortable and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to save these until after i have the baby i mean maybe i'll wear them maybe i'll get something else but um these are both £10 each, so I honestly think, like, you know, they're not they're not maternity, but, so anyone can wear them. They're absolutely beautiful. They're great quality. Um, so, yeah, I thought that coming out of the hospital will look lovely. If it's cold, if it does happen to be cold, I will take a pair of black leggings, and I'll stick a pair of black leggings with that, and then I'll probably just wear some, like, trainers on, on my feet. Something really comfortable, easy to slip on because um, you never know how it's going to go. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love those. I think I'll probably go for this one when I'm coming out, because it's a bit more colourful than the black. Um, but yeah, that's that. The next item of clothing I got from there was the trusty joggers from Primark. So if you um, are on my Instagram, you would have seen that I've already got the grey version of these. And I did try and buy another grey pair, because you can never have too many. Uh, but they didn't have any in stock. So I got these in a size 10 to 12 and they were five pounds. So they're for like when I'm in the hospital. My last labor went on for 18 hours. So sometimes it can go really, really slowly or I was induced last time and I wouldn't want to be wearing anything other than something really comfortable. Um, so I've got those joggers just in case it goes on for a couple of days um, to pack in there, just like a comfortable pair of trousers to wear. So can't can't beat those. The next thing that was on my list was a dressing gown. And I did say in my previous um, intro that I do already have a lovely, like, colourful um, dressing gown, like a silky one, for my holiday. Um, and it's, it is a really lovely one. Um, so I did say I was going to wear that. However, I did see this. And I really liked this. And I also don't think I can wait to wear this one. So it's like a waffle... It's like, you know, when you go to a spa, you get those, like, waffle textured... Um, dressing gowns they had them in white as well but I figured grey was just a bit more forgiving um, and I sized up in this so I got a size 14 to 16 which is a large um, because I just figured obviously by then I'm going to be big and, and it doesn't really matter with the dressing gown does it because it's got a tie waist on it um, and that was only eight pounds and I love that it's quite short so it's not like a long one um, but it is really thin and light because again it's going to be quite hot so yeah I, I love that the other thing that was on my list was a dress, uh, sorry, a dressing gown, was a nighty, um, but I didn't manage to get one. I did feel, I'll show you one that I saw that I really loved. So I absolutely loved this one, but unfortunately they didn't have it in my size. So I am going to go back to the Bristol Primark and I genuinely am going to go to Primark and buy this because I don't wear nighties usually, but I did wear one when I was in labour with Oscar because it covers you. But it's easy access, you know, because you keep needing to be checked whilst you're in hospital. So a nighty rather than pyjamas is a better thing because you haven't got to keep taking your bottoms off. 
and it's so pretty and lovely colour and I thought with the grey dressing gown, not that you should care how you look when you're in labour but this is me um, and yeah I thought that those two colours would go really well together and just be really comfortable and pretty and make you feel your best when you're actually feeling your worst. So that's that. Now this is a bit of a um, naughty one because these aren't from Primark but I went for the lookout for these from Primark and I know Primark sell them but I couldn't wait to go back to the Bristol one and I saw these in Asda and I figured that actually they were about the same price as what they would be in Primark and I just I kept looking at them thinking no 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 I'll wait till I go back to Bristol that's the whole point in this but then I thought no I love them and actually they're really cheap but I've got these um like slippers like flip floppy slippers I think they'll be really comfortable really great nice you can breathe um your feet obviously can breathe and you don't really want to be having bare feet on the hospital floor I do have some lovely Ugg slippers which are my favorite but I just think they'll be too hot because your feet can sweat in them because they're so warm so yeah I thought those were really really nice um and they were four pounds so moving on to the kind of cosmetic side of things, the first thing I got was this lovely cosmetic bag. So it's lovely and big, it's got a popper on the front to store stuff in it and then inside it's also got some like, I'm not sure if you can see that, so little pockets to I suppose put your toothbrush or makeup brushes or whatever you want. Um, and that was £6 and it's like a rose gold and a clear, you can't go wrong. So I'm going to put all of my toiletries in there and I will run through which toiletries I managed to get in Primark. The first thing I got was this pack of three gentle facial cleansing wipes. Um, I feel like if you are like really hot, you could probably just use one to wipe over your face. And this is a pack of three 15 wipes. There's 15 in each pack and there's three of them all stuck together. There's a pound for those. So I'll just obviously take one of those and pop them in the bag so you can't go wrong with those um, and this says for sensitive skin they have loads and loads of different ones I think my friend picked up I can't remember which one she picked up like a blue packet I think um, but I have got sensitive skin so they have those and I assume they're like fragrance free the next thing I got if any of you follow any of my um, or have seen any of my makeup videos we know I love the micellar water micellar water whatever it's called uh, and they have this cute little mini version for 90 pence and to go with it I got these 50 argan oil oval pads for dry skin so they're enriched with argan oil but actually the only reason I got them is because they were like a small packet a squished packet if I got the bigger ones I would have broken into them before because I use them every day um, to take my makeup off but I just thought you know you cut although I've got the facial wipes you can't beat this just to give you a nice cleanse on your face so I will pack those in my cosmetic bag as well. And going along with the skincare, um, I did get this um, facial moisturiser, clear ankle facial moisturiser with purifying tea tree and witch hazel. Um, and that was two pounds. Um, so I haven't actually smelt it yet. I'm going to smell it now. Oh, it's got, it's got a, a little bit. I'm, I'm not actually, I'm going to leave that because obviously it's 14 weeks till I have the baby. I'm going to pack it all quite soon. I know that sounds ridiculous. Um, I didn't do this until about 34 weeks with Oscar. Um, but because of our recent little scare thing, I just feel like if I get the hospital bag done and it's in my house, ready to go, then I don't have to worry about it. If anything happens, I am organised. So that is what I intend to do. So that will go in there because I do... When I'm feeling a bit like grotty or like you know just a bit sweaty I all I want to do is to just like cleanse my face and put a moisturizer on I'm really not fussy with moisturizers I have lots of different moisturizers I haven't actually tried this yet maybe I should try it before I go in because if I don't like it maybe I should take one that I've already got but yeah that might be a good idea and for two quid I could just go and get another one couldn't I that's what I'll do okay the next thing that I got um for my hospital bag was this um sort of like Tangle Teaser brush in a leopard print. I love leopard print. Um, so that was two pounds. And also to go with those, I got these um, hair bands. They were a pound. I won't take all of those. I'll literally probably put two or three in the bag, but you're gonna need to get your hair out of your face when you're feeling sweaty. Um, so yeah, I love those. Again, I am gonna pack all those now so that I don't try and use them before and everything's nice and fresh um, for when I go in. The next thing that was on my list um, was shampoo and conditioner. So I managed to pick up the Head & Shoulders Classic Clean 
shampoos. That's what I use on my hair every time anyway because I get a really dry scalp. Um, and I got the L'Oreal Alviv um, conditioner. They were both a pound each. Um, they will do way more than one wash, obviously. But um, again, just perfect for if you are in there a while and you do want to wash your hair, um, I will pop those in. The next mini I got was this Original Source shower gel. How cute is that? Um, so that was 90 pence. I'm not sure why they priced some of these things at 90 pence and at a pound, but um, probably because actually you can get a big bottle of this in a supermarket for like, when it's on offer, probably a pound or two. So that's probably why. Um, but you know, it's convenient, it's small, that's what you need. Last time when I had Oscar, because I had an epidural, I had to have a bed bath. Um, my husband gave me a bed bath. Um, and we had some toiletries. I think left over from Christmas that we use some like small miniature ones, but they're so useful. And I did put a flannel in, which I didn't manage to get in Primark. Um, I did look for one, but I couldn't see one. So I will buy a new flannel just from, I don't know, but just a cheap shop. Um, definitely take your own flannel. Um, but I am get, I'm going to follow this video up with a pack with me hospital bag. So by the time I do that, I will have all the bits ready and I will show you exactly what I've put in there um, so you know what to put in yours. The next thing I got was this um, hand sanitizer, which was a pound um, floral crush hand gel. I'm just going to smell it. Oh, that smells so good. Only that was just a pound and I will definitely take a hand gel with me because like I say, I'm a bit funny about that. So um, obviously I will wash my hands, but if I'm in labor and I'm going to the toilet or something, that is just nice and useful, isn't it? To just keep your hands sanitized. Um, not I haven't got OCD, I'm just, careful with germs and hospitals have lots of germs the next thing i got i don't think will go in my hospital bag but certainly it's for when i come home was this hair mask this argan oil hair mask i figured that you know once you've been it, it's usually a bit of an ordeal some people are really lucky and, and it's really quick i just thought it'd be really nice to treat my hair and it was only 60 pence i actually picked up a couple of them and i've already used one and it was really nice um, so they've got loads of hair masks in there. So I'm going to definitely, I might put it in just in case. Because imagine if I'm there for like a week or something. I mean, that can happen. Some things can happen. So actually, yes, I'm going to put that in there. Because if I was bed bound for like a week and I had nothing to do, um, a hair mask just to make you feel that bit better would definitely be nice. The next thing I got was some earphones. Um, so it said on my list, um, something to keep you busy, like a tablet, laptop. And I remembered that I don't actually have any normal headphones for my laptop. It's really funny. If I'm editing and there's people around, as in the children, and I don't want to disturb them or Simon, I actually use the kids' headphones. Because um, the only headphones I've got are the ones that go into the iPhone and not the ones with the normal headphone port and my mac has got a normal headphone port so they were only one pound fifty i don't know how good they are essential earphones um but definitely that will help because if i want to listen to music or i do just want to watch something um i just thought they were really good and for one pound fifty i haven't seen them cheaper anywhere else they've got them in loads of different colors the next thing that was well, one of the things that was on the list was um snacks Obviously, we'll buy more snacks closer to the time, but I did see these fulfil um, salt, chocolate, salted caramel, a vitamin and protein bar. I've had these before and they are delicious. Um, so I'm not saying that, you know, you have to be proper health conscious when you're in labour, but I just thought they were really nice. So I got one for me and one for Simon. I'm not actually sure how much they were. So they were £1.10 each, um, which I think is pretty good. So I'm just going to stick those in because they actually, they fill you up quite a lot. They've got 20 grams of protein um, and they're really low in sugar. So if you want something that's going to actually fill you up with the right amount of vitamins and stuff, I just thought that would help. The next thing I got was this water bottle. So I know they bring you round water, but this is actually a fruit infused water bottle. I'm not sure I'll use the fruit part of it because if I'm in there a while, it might go off. Uh, but I just really liked the colour. Um, I kind of need a new water bottle anyway. But again, I will save this until and I'll put it in my hospital bag. I won't use it before because um, that's what this is all about. But I loved it. I love the colour. They do it in lots of different colours. And it's one of those ones that's got the different levels of, of water on the side. So it tells you, it doesn't tell you when you should have it by, but it just tells you 
how much you've got in there. That was four pounds, not the cheapest. And yeah, I think I'll definitely use that. The next thing I got I thought was really cool. I didn't think I was gonna find it and I'm so glad I didn't. I haven't even actually told Simon about this yet. But I mentioned about getting him a travel pillow because it's unfair. The guys don't get to sit down. Um, the guys don't get anywhere comfortable to sleep. Um, I will also be taking Simon a blanket, just a small children's blanket so that he's got something. Um, but I did manage to find this inflatable travel pillow. So it's £2.50 um, and I'll, I'll just literally show you how it works. It's grey, of course, my favourite colour. So there's a little valve there, like a paddling pool valve. So you literally just blow it up um, and then it'll be one of those inflatable neck pillows. So it just means if he's sat in the chair... He can just rest his head and go to sleep. Hopefully he's not snoring because I literally throw my water bottle at him. Um, but yeah, uh, that I thought was an absolute steal. So if you haven't had a baby already and you haven't thought about a travel pillow for your husband or boyfriend or partner, um, definitely get one because I felt so sorry for him last time. He he couldn't sleep at all. So I thought that and a little blanket would be perfect for him. Um, so I will pop that in there and I, I just love that. That's brilliant. Oh, the next thing I got was some big knickers. Um, now these might not seem big to you guys, but I usually wear thongs. I always wear them. Um, but unfortunately, after you have a baby, you have to wear those huge maternity pads. Um, so I just got this grey, of course, pack of three knickers, and they were £3. Um, I got them in a medium, so I got them in a 12 to 14. I sized up because, again, you want to be comfortable. You don't want tight-fitting underwear after you've had a baby. Absolutely not. Um, but, yeah, they're just normal normal pants, really, um, but big enough to fit the... Well, I don't know, actually. Now I'm looking at that. I'm like, is that big enough to put... I was there looking at all the different knickers that they had, and I was like, oh, which which ones shall I get? Because they had like, um, what do you call them? Oh, I can't think what they're called. Oh, anyway, all the different cuts of knickers that you can get, they had. And I just saw these and thought, perfect, they're in the right size. And they were you know they look comfortable i think the lace um, around the edges make them feel really comfortable as well moving on to the final few bits that i got so the last thing on there and i may have missed some other things as i said i couldn't get everything on my list i'm going to check my list in a minute um and see what maybe i missed and what i need to pick up next um but the baby's outfit was one of them now they did have a beautiful outfit i absolutely loved and it was really reasonable but they didn't have it in the size that i wanted so i need to get newborn a couple of newborn things for the baby but the things that i did pick up in there which i thought was so reasonable is i got these two hats and two pairs of scratch mitts for two pounds 80. so of course they're gray and white i'm just going to take one out because i need to show you them they're really cute so They've got little, little ears on them. They're so cute. I'm actually thinking this might be what I what I put on him when he comes out. And the white one has got like um, stars and clouds and moons on it. Can you see that? Yeah, so super cute. So um, it came with those two hats and then obviously the matching scratch mitts to go with it. Um, so yeah, £2.80 for those, bargain. Um, the next thing I got was some short sleeve body suits. Oh, did I get them in? No, they're not to three months. See, again, they didn't have them in newborn, but I figured I would get these anyway, A, for the video, but B, because I'm going to need short sleeve body suits. And they were £7 for a pack of sevens. So they were a quid each. A quid? Who do I think I am? They were a pound each. Um, and I'm just going to show you one of them, just so we can, because I haven't actually seen them out of the packet either. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, so my friend has actually said to me since that I think I'm, that she thinks I'm forgetting how small babies are when they're really little and I really need to get some newborn stuff. So I need to find some newborn vests from summer. So maybe when I go back to the Bristol Primark, I do a follow up video of the things that I've kind of filled in with this. Uh, but they're really sweet, obviously grey and white again, with some prints on them. Um, so I absolutely love those um, and great essential. 
And then the, I've got the matching muslin squares because that was on the list as well. And I love these. Again, I love the print. Um, I have already got some muslin squares, but you can never have enough. Um, and I will wash all of these before we go to hospital on a really hot wash and make them soften up because they're a bit stiff, aren't they, when they first come. Um, so this is a cloud print. And then the other two, I've just got a grey and a stripe. And they're lovely. I love those. Um, so that was how much for a pack of three? Three pounds thirty. They're so random with their price, like two pounds eighty, three pounds thirty. Um, but yeah, love those. Let's check the list and see what I have missed and what I need to get. So, first thing it says is socks. Um, so I didn't get socks, and the reason I didn't is because I don't get cold feet. Um, and it says about getting cold feet. I mean. Maybe I'll pack some socks of that I've already got, but I really don't think I'm going to need them. And I obviously got my slippers, and I just feel like that's going to be enough. And you also are given a bed. Sorry about that. You are also given a bed, um, and you will have a blanket, so that'll be fine. Lip balm. I didn't get lip balm. I obviously didn't look for that, because they definitely would have had that. So I need to get that. Um, body lotion or massage oil. I don't really feel like that's an essential for me. I didn't need it with the first one, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Comfortable pillow, um, obviously I've got my husband the pillow. Um, relaxing pastimes, so the ear, you know, earphones that I got for that. Night dress, which I told you about. Underwear I got, bras. Now, I did look for bras, but again, being a smaller, store i need to get that so that's definitely one that i've missed cosmetics and skincare products i got phone and charger obviously i've already got those um snacks and drinks i obviously got some snacks water i got my bottle i think i did pretty well because actually when i was in that i wasn't looking at my list um because i was with a friend and we were chatting and i was helping her and she was helping me and um she had a little boy with her so we were just kind of like getting things as and when Clothes, I've got some nice comfortable clothes. Uh, baby grows, obviously didn't manage to get those. Blanket for the baby. Now, I didn't get that. I didn't even look for that. Oh dear. Muslin squares, going home outfit I've spoken to you about. So that's it. So actually, I did really well. So what have I got left to get? Bras, lip balm, socks if I want to. But let's say bras, lip balm, blanket for the baby, going home outfit so i will definitely do a follow-on video from this i'm going to do a pack with me hospital bag so i'm going to go back to primark i'm going to pick up the actual bag itself i'm convinced they're going to have a lovely one and then i'm going to go and finish off the last few bits that i've got and then i'm going to pack my bag um so i hope you all enjoyed it um and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video